Now, uh, I won't go into all of this astrology. What is it that you're trying to do? You're trying to look at the positions of the planet and make certain predictions, right? I want you to understand, most of the time, people who make good predictions are people who, you know, tell you about the past very clearly or some people tell you tomorrow what's going to happen very clearly, they're not doing it looking at the planets, they're doing it looking at you. A certain intuitiveness is there in a certain person, he says. You know, instead of teaching this yoga, if I sit in Chennai and just predict people's future, I will tell you in the next ten years exactly what will happen in your life. Within three days, I will have a reputation that half the Chennai will be standing in queue. Very easily I can do that. But in, in the yoga center also there are people who have been into so much sadhana, they can do such things. If they ever do such things, I will finish them. We won't let them go on with that nonsense. We'll immediately chuck them out of the place. Because by predicting somebody's future, you don't alter the quality of his life in any way. You don't bring any kind of true well-being. It is just, you know, you're getting him into more and more ignorance, isn't it? Now if you have the power to know your tomorrow, you will only become more ignorant, more egoistic, more stupid, more harmful. You go by the normal rules, it's okay, you don't have to know what's tomorrow. You are made like this right now, the quality of your life and your own way of being is such, if you know tomorrow today, you will not participate in today. Isn't it? Yes or no? Suppose I tell you, whatever you do, you are not going to die. You will do irresponsible things in the world. Or if I tell you tomorrow morning anyway you will die, now you won't participate in today. Isn't it? So, you should not know the future. It's not necessary for you to know the f future. Can somebody predict? Yes, sometimes. But that's not hundred percent. It's never hundred percent. Every object has a certain influence on you. See, right now this vessel, because of its shape and its material, it has a certain influence, it has a certain vibration emanating from it. If I allow this vessel to influence me, I keep him next to me because he's quite a good friend. I'm not keeping a plastic pot because I don't like his the things that he says. I keep this one because, you know, he's saying pleasant things. I am always in good company, please see. <laughs> but now if I allow this vessel to influence me too much, slowly I will become like a vessel. This will happen to you. Many people have become like vessels, isn't it? <laughs> haven't they? They will let things influence them so deeply, they will become like that. No, I won't let this copper vessel to influence me. But uh, being in my company, he is so influenced. You will see, you take another copper vessel, you give me anything. Right now you give me any object. Just give it to me for twenty seconds. I'll hold it in my hand and give it back to you. It will be different. If you're sensitive, you can feel it is distinctly different. So, the question is just this, will you allow objects to influence you or will you influence the objects? Something else. The planets definitely are large objects, so they have certain vibrations, they have some influences on everything around them. If they are close to this planet, yes. Do you know on Pavarnami and Amavasya days, full moon day and new moon day days, people who are little mentally disturbed or imbalanced become much more imbalanced. Yes? Even the ocean is going crazy, isn't it? Do you all go crazy? Twice a month? Some of you are not saying anything. Okay, 
twice a month if you're going crazy, you would have observed <laughs> Anyway, please ask your family, they will tell you <laughs> Now, compared to that person who has an imbalanced mind, you are much more stable, much more established. Wherever the moon goes, you don't go crazy. If you are much more established, wherever any planet goes, you don't go crazy, that's all. You, the purpose of your life, the destiny of your life is fixed by you and nothing else but you. Yes, everything has an influence, but what you make out of that influence is still yours, isn't it? But if you are going to be pushed around by inanimate objects, yes, you can be pushed around. To that extent it is true. I am saying, when the divine is functioning within you, when the creator is functioning within you, why are you allowing inanimate things to influence your life? If you… if you allow this dimension to flower in you, you will see life happens fantastic. Let the stars go anywhere, let the planets go anywhere, you will go only where you want to go. You want to go where you want to go? Or you want to be pushed around by inanimate objects? You must decide that. Now, uh, they are writing it in horoscope and giving it to you how you are going to live. Please tell me, if there is an intelligent person in this room, can you predict what he will do the next moment? He may do something that nobody has ever done, isn't it? If there is a fool here, if you look at him, you can say, okay, this is how you will live. If they have to write it on paper and give you that this is the way you will live, what to do? <laughs> that means you are refusing to use your intelligence, isn't it? <laughs>